Hello everyone, this is Dungeon Rushers, and we are back! Okay, so it's a bit of... Uh, I guess we have a few things different. We have both of our characters leveled up, and we are just about to enter the third, uh, I guess, dungeon or so. It seems it's called Tavern's Darkest Cell. Now, our goal is to find the treasure as always. Uh, we have a bit of a, I guess, a problem with the bonus challenges, because one of them is no ability use. Okay, that's kind of harsh, I guess. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm going to use them. All monsters slain and all events inspected. I guess we could do the first and the last, but I don't know about the second. Maybe I'll do it off camera or something. I don't know. I guess we'll try. We did have... Uh, since Oh, yeah, by the way. So, we played everything again. I kind of wanted to redeem the death of my hero, I suppose. And um, let me show you. We also got, like, a new item. So... Uh, we got the sword again, and we equipped it on uh, Torgrid, and now he does a bit more damage than you know, than normal. Plus, he has more um, uh, parry chance uh, than before. We got a bit more iron, I guess not more. We got two pieces of iron, and we got this amulet. But unfortunately, it does lower the life. It's minus one health, but gives us five stamina. Now, stamina is basically used... Um, of combat within the dungeon, at, at, least, at least until now, and I think that's pretty much how it's going to be for the rest of the game. To have different abilities to open up, uh, not open up, to disarm traps and so on and so forth, a few things like that. Um, but I don't really kind of want to equip it, although I'm pretty sure in this particular dungeon uh, that we're about to set ourselves in, it would help. But I guess we're going to see how it goes and we'll go from there. We also have level ups, so... It's about time we go into the skill points. Now, I haven't read any of this, and as you can see, you can't really read them anyways. You have to invest at least, I guess, one or two points in the first um, uh, the first uh, skills, I guess you could call them. And only then you will be able to invest in the rest. Now, what is this one? Increase, increases um, the critical, apparently, plus 3% chance. Not bad, not bad at all. It would go to about the 6 total, probably. What does this do? Plus one damage. That's not bad, but that's not gonna help as much as if you ask me. This is gonna reduce, increases the damage of precision, precision shot, but it's not gonna increase also the cost of mana, or maybe it's gonna reduce it. No, I think it's just not going to cost, the, so it's gonna be plus one damage, but the same amount of mana as before, which is basically one point. Now, I'm not gonna go with this, although maybe I should. I'm kind of inclined to go with the crit, if you ask me. I don't know if any of this is actually worth it. Immune to weakness. Receive the ability uh, enhancement. What? The agility enhancement. When using pathfinding, plus one speed. Pathfinding has 5% chance to unveil one additional square. It reduces the cost of saboteur. So this is basically all going to be off uh, combat. Um, I guess only this is going to be in combat. I'm, I'm guessing. This is all shots, so arrows. And this is most of it. Uh, increases the chance of inflicting weakness when using perforation. Okay, so this is basically going to be sword. We're going to use a lot of swords. I'm pretty sure of it. Passive ability skilled archer unlocked. Ooh, interesting. And this is increases the strength when a bow is equipped. Not bad. I would pretty much like to, I guess, get all of them, but until then, I guess we're going to go with plus one damage. Uh, so, it increases the damage of uh, perforation. Okay, so we're going to go with that. Okay, and the second level is going to be a plus two. Only then, I think, we're going to be able to invest in this. We have, like, one more point available, then I'm going to go with plus two. And there we go. If you complete the amount of... Um, points required for one row, the second one opens at that specific tree. This is combined now. I think it was like that before, was it? I can't really... I wasn't paying that much attention. Was this uh, a line like this? I guess it was, and I just didn't pay attention or something. Whatever. Increases the damage of Poison's Blade. We don't have that yet. Probably going to open this turn or something. I guess we're going to see. We only have this equipped. I'm not going to equip that uh, amulet. It's just going to be for selling. And let's be off within the dungeon. Let's rush it. Whistle nonchalantly. <laughs> Stop with your whistling. You'll announce your uh, guilt. What? you announce your <laughs> guilt for miles around. What guilt? We didn't do anything. You're the one who robbed the place. <gasps> I forgot to set skills in him. Oh my god. What else am I uh, meant to do if I'm trying to look innocent? 
Uh, you don't do anything, believe me, in my experience as an uh, accountant, looking innocent is part of the job. Come on, don't uh, dwaddle. The next dungeon is uh, way off yet. What? Already? But we've just finished with this one. Listen up, I'm not going to give you a lesson in economics, but with the uh, slim pickings from uh, this place, we've got to get moving if we want to stay afloat, especially with your debt. <laughs> I suppose you're right, so hurry up then. <laughs> we need to get underway, and uh, with your short legs, you're slowing, you're slowing us down. My god, I'm mean. You're picking on the dwarf, dude. <laughs> you know what, kid? You're incredibly annoying. Yes, I am. Let me see if we can actually... Uh, set skills within the dungeon? Apparently we can, which is kind of great. Increases the armor. Uh, passive ability, dwarf constitution unlocked. Whatever that is. Reduces the cost of, uh, of one go first. I guess that's sort of a skill that I'll go we're going to have in a certain amount of time. This seems to be like a whirlwind. Yeah, there we go, whirlwind. Increases the chance of inflicting armor break when using hammering and a lot of uh, other stuff. So this is going to be damage. We're going to go with plus damage. Clearly. So per level we got like two points, which is kind of awesome. I wasn't really expecting that. Damage of hammering. Okay, there we go. So plus two damage. We open the next uh, batch of skills. The um, very first ones are increases the chance of inflicting armor breaking when using hammering and this one increases the damage of whirlwind which we don't really quite have just yet this is also going to increase something within the whirlwind and this is going to do the same but just going to reduce the mana cost okay pretty awesome i, I suppose this is uh, sort of a passive which increases uh the strength when using two-handed weapon. Okay, and whatever. So there's gonna be a lot of skills. We're gonna go over them and so on and so forth. I'm not gonna use these skills. I'm gonna keep them for, I guess, I don't know, traps and that sort of stuff. We're gonna go around, try to find all the mean, mean... Okay, what's here? Like, nothing? Okay. Uh, I thought that was, like, something there. Uh, ooh, we found an event. Pretty awesome. Let's inspect it. Magical power. Well, we don't really use... But nevertheless, it's good to have it, you know. It's something that's uh, plus, not in minus. I guess we could go this way. There we go, it branches off. Some more nothing. A bunch of more nothing. Come on, we're gonna have a fight soon enough. I'm pretty sure of it. There we go, first fight. Let's go. We have a skeleton and a warlock. And this should, this should prove quite interesting. And unfortunately, I'm gonna have to... Um... Oh, there we go. Now we have our third ability. Poisonous Blade. Damage 6. 6 costs 1 mana. Trust a Poisonous Blade between the enemy's ribs. Poison minus 2 for 3 turns. That's a 6 damage, but I wouldn't really want them to survive for 3 turns, if you ask me. And it only has a 40% to apply it. So it's gonna give some damage plus poison, which is not bad. Overall, it should do about a 12 damage, if no armor. But to be fair, I'm just gonna go with the shot on the Warlock, because I want him to do as little damage as possible. There we go, that's a 3 there. I'm gonna try to stun this guy, or should I just go for a hammer? If we stun him, he may lose a round. There we go. He, we just, like, didn't get any damage from him, which is awesome. So, now I'm just gonna consume more mana, but get rid of the, the Warlock. I can't really attack him with anything else, because he's, like, on the back row. I'm just gonna use the normal hammer on the on the skeleton and we are done. We got no items, three gold though, which is not bad, and a lot of experience, which is always good. I wonder if maybe I got like two skill points because um, we didn't set any skill points at level one or something. I don't know, I guess we're gonna see. This is a dead end. Come on, move, move, move. If you, when you move, when he moves, because I can click here and he's gonna move, look, say like that. But if I click again, he's gonna stop where he is. Oh, I guess not on his, on his tracks. And uh, you can uh, reorient, reorient your guys, whatever. Ooh, a crossbow man. Never fought one of those before. I raised five ribs more. They were playing something, I guess. <laughs> I'm sure you're bluffing all in. <laughs> Would it be too much to ask you? Uh, to pay us some attention. Can't you see we're busy? <laughs> it's the hand of my life. I mean, of my death. Gah! You get what I mean. Come back tomorrow. But we come a long way to explore this dungeon, you know. I don't care. Come on. Show me your hand. <laughs> hey, that's not very polite. Alien, teach them a lesson in manners. So we're gonna fight them anyways. They seem to be both immune to bleed, but that would be about it. I have no clue what this one does. Crap! 
You already shot? He was the first. Oh, he was the first. Okay. Come on, let me see. So he has an 8 life, which is more than I would have wanted. But that's it, I guess. Not much of else. Just some uh, magical resistance, apparently. The rest of the skeletons seem to have magical uh, weakness, as you can see. That one has uh, a bonus, basically. Let's see. If I apply a poison, it's gonna do... Oh, I can actually reach this guy? This is gonna do even more damage than this. Oh, actually, it won't. And even if I... Six. Let's see, maybe we actually apply the poison. But I don't think that's gonna be a six, is it? Uh, he should die without shoot. Let's try it. At least we're gonna try it, you know. Let's go with it and see. Okay, we poisoned it, but he only got the five damage. That's not good. Unfortunately, that's going to cost us. So how much mana do we have? We still have enough to put another hammer on this one. Maybe, okay, he got stunned. That's extraordinary, because he, uh, he lost the roll. This one's gonna do another damage to us. Pretty decent damage, too. So he's gonna die next round, so we're not gonna care about him. We're just gonna go for the skeleton. There we go. And I guess uh, Thorgrain over here can finish this one without letting him uh, die from the poison or something. We got a bit of experience to gold, no items, unfortunately. So there is a chance to get items, and there's a chance to, like, get nothing. Okay, we found the chest, but we don't care about the chest. Who the hell is she? A witch. Just a second, that's the combination, I guess. Oh no, Arr. you made me lose count. Oh, she was counting something. I sell items to the adventurers who came to explore the dungeon. Oh, it's an event actually? Talking great. Show us what you've got for sale. Now, here you blind idiots, I'm just... Not here you blind idiots, I'm just here to promote myself. What I do is a bit of a grey area, legally speaking. Come and find me in my shop later. If you want to buy something and be quiet, they are watching. <laughs> you really do mean all kinds of people in the... <laughs> you really do meet all kinds of people, kinds of people in dungeons. Yeah, we kind of do apparently, they like to stay there. <laughs> are you talking about me, kid? Watch your mouth. I wasn't talking about leave, uh, loot and leave, no. We're gonna explore more, even if it kills us, basically. Okay, that seemed to end. There's only like only this little thing over here to explore, which seems to be a trap. Let's uh, saboteur it, sorta. Target three characters. Wow, damage zero, but reduces armor breaking. Three turns minus 15% physical risk. You know what? I'm, we're gonna uh, try to disengage it anyways. There we go. It's gonna be a fight over here. I'm pretty sure of it. Or not an event. Come on, let it be life. Let it be life. Blessing, magical protection. Ah, well, that's good too. Burn. I am damaged. Why am I damaged? Oh, the the warlock put the burn on us. Ah, okay, I guess. Hopefully that's not gonna kill us. There we go! Uh, immune to... Okay, that's a crossbowman. Only a crossbowman. He's gonna shoot first though. Hopefully he's not gonna kill anybody. We're kinda close with Orgrim to dying. Uh, so, that's not that lovely. Ooh, he can die from one shot from that... Uh, Skill, there we go, we did that. When we got the bow, don't mind if I do. It does lower the chance of parry, but I think this is crit, it's a plus three crit and one damage. Not too bad. And since we don't really parry, uh, we may be inclined to equip that one, to be honest. So let's see. Uh, it's what? It's less parry, more crit. I'm kind of inclined to use it, to be honest. Should we? I mean, we have never parried at all. Even since we have like 10%. I don't know. I really don't know how to go about it. Oh my god, there's a lot of experience needed for the next level. But we can do it. You can grind your way, basically. You can restart the entire dungeons every time you play the game. If you so wish. I can get more mats. You can get more items. At least a chance at them. I really don't know how to do about this. Go about this. I mean, no parry, but more crit. Uh, since we don't really parry anyways, I don't think we're gonna crit either. But let's try it like this for now and see how it goes. We don't need to equip the other weapon on um, Torgrim because, well, he's already ha he already has it. Oh, we got a curse now. We are drunk. What does this do? Minus 5 speed? That means like we're gonna be like the last ones of the batch from the, all the fighting. And everything seems to be uncovered. As far as I know, let's see. Okay, not that button. Button seems to be reversed when you uh, use the arrows or so. And uh, let's loot and leave. Cause, well, that's pretty much what we can do. 
So we got two of them because we use skills, but we did get some um, crafting materials and a lot of gold too, which is okay. Okay, pst, this way, quickly, before they see us. <laughs> I don't know why I speak like that. I guess because it was a witch. Take a look and don't forget, I may have a new arrival sometime. So she's going to refresh her things now and then. So she has what, like a leather strap, more fine stone, three potions, which is not bad. Uh, a hemp, which you already have, I think. No, we don't have a hemp, we have a hops. Okay, and staff of death. Wow. That's two magical spell damage and five more parry, but less movement. So you're gonna do more magical damage, but you're probably gonna um, be one of the last ones to actually cast. Eh, not that bad, especially if you have an AoE, but oh well, I guess it is what it is. We're not gonna take it, by the way. It's not to mention that we don't... Oh, we barely have the money for it. That's like 110, we have like 138. But nevertheless, it is doable, you know, it's there. So, I guess... Skins? Oh, there's a skins for you. What could we sell? I mean, we could sell that sewer, but I don't seem to see it. She only seems to take crafting materials. But we can sell this one because, quite frankly, we don't want it. Okay, so we got some gold there, some decent gold too. But, and we have enough potions for now. We could sell this, by the way, but it's a zero cost. Uh, we're gonna keep it yet. I don't think we have a uh, limited amount of uh, things that we can have in our inventory, so it can still stay there. And I guess that is about it with this... Uh, oh, shop? Gambling. What is gambling? Bet more to win more. So, like what? I am gonna bet... 40 gold for 3 something. I don't know what this is. Let's try it. It's gonna consume some of our money, but ah uh, well. Dwarf payout. Dwarf beer. Continue. So we got our money. We got the dwarf beer, which I don't see it anywhere. I don't see it in the shop either. Ah, uh, that is weird. <laughs> I don't know what that did, and so I'm not going to use it again because we're gonna run out of money. Let's see the inventory. Maybe now we can see the dwarf beer. Oh, there it is. Dwarf beer. Levels require 3. Fortifies armor. 14% physical resist more for 4 turns. Not bad. So it's sort of like, a, I don't know, like a potion, like a scroll or something. Like a buff. Let's see. Next uh, dungeon, because we still have some time for it. Uh, team first challenge. Like, really? The, this, un this one's weren't challenges? Well, I'm not going to go again for this one. I'm just going to go for this one. So, no potion use, no trap triggered, no KO. Yeah, I guess that's doable, probably. Who knows what we're gonna encounter inside. I guess we're gonna go from there. Okay, so let's move. Let's move some more, and we found out. Hurry up to loot the treasure before someone does it for you. Just a little help. It's down, right, down, then straight to the right. Okay, let me read this again. For you. Just a little help. It's down... So down, right, down again, then straight to the right. That's again to the right and all the way. So we're gonna go down, right, down, and right, 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 right until we find it. Okay, I guess. Uh, that's my bad, right? So, uh, down, so we need to go down. Okay, so down, there's a first fight. Yeah, doable, we've done it before. Unfortunately, this guy's gonna do some damage on us. Oh, can we use this? Eh, it's not really gonna kill him anyways. So I'm gonna have to go with the bow. There we go. The same amount of mana consumed anyways. He fired upon us. We're gonna have to try to stun this guy, hopefully. And we actually did it, which is great, because he's not gonna hit us. Us again. Finish this guy off. There we go. No more of him. And there we go. Thorgrim should about finish this other guy already. So if you grind a bit, we got a bit of gold, that's about it. Unfortunately, no items, no nothing else. So down, right, down again. Uh, I'm dumb, and I kind of forgot already what it said. So it said down, right, down, and then straight to the right. Okay, so it's this way now. A trap, okay. We're gonna try to trigger it, not to trigger it, to disarm it. There we go. 
And straight. It said straight, so we're gonna have another fight. Ooh, two warriors, a crossbow man, and well, that's about it. Three guys. We never fought three guys before, and we are a bit damaged, so it is a bit of a problem. This guy already shot. I think he shot me. I don't really know, to be honest. But let me see. If uh, I hit with what? With this one? The crossbow man goes down, like, directly, which is kind of awesome, because he's the first one to go, so I'm gonna go for it. There we go. That one's dead. Thorgrim is going to use the Whirlwind, apparently. Oh, the Thor... Uh, well, he's not necessarily he's going to use it, but... We got his ability. Swirl towards the enemies and hit the front line. Okay, I guess. Let's see. It's It does damage to both of them. Not that much, but it does do some damage. And I'm almost dead, especially with the burn on me. So I'm going to have to use a potion, like it or not. So we're going to lose one of the challenges, but... Well, it is what it is. Can I get rid of one of them? Because that would be important. Because if I use the whirlwind and they don't die, we're going to get damage from both of them. This way, not so much. There we go. And we've cleared it all. And with decent health too. No challenges won though. No items, just three gold. Eh, it's kind of a pattern, that one. So he said straight. And there we go. We found the treasure. Final treasure is ours. Well, what should I do? Should I? Okay. Oh... Uh, Contraire, my friends, this pile of glittering treasures is mine. I don't know why I speak like that, but it seemed, it seemed to be suited for him. And I'm kind of figuring, even if he would have done the entire dungeon and then found the treasure, he would have said the same shit. <laughs> oh well, let's see what uh, we can do about it. Maybe he's going to join us. Hmm, who are you? Maybe he's a healer. Like, I don't know, a minister or something? We, I actually played in a game. Uh, a minister, which was basically a healer. A damage dealer too, but also a healer. Some of you may have played that game, but I'm not gonna say it on the air. Uh, you may call me Pod. I am discerning... Discerning? I am a discerning minstrel, a hunter of exquisite riches... Uh, rich Linus? What? Rick, uh, Rick Linus? I don't know what that is. <laughs> and seducerist of old women. You found you you're finding women in dungeons or something. I don't know. You're kind of creepy. And I do declare that this treasure is mine. Upon what um, I don't know. Pretends, cause uh, we're again we're like two of us. We, we, we may find we may have found it first, but there's like two of us, and there's like nobody around to tell. So, and we also have a hammer in one of us on our one of our hands. So, you sure you want to do that? <laughs> what can I say? I mean like that. <laughs> and why do you think that? Uh, why? Because I'm merely keeping with the long-standing tradition of adventurism and heroism. I saw it first. Uh, well, you may have. <laughs> Blondie, there is a... Blondie there is laughing at us. We didn't see you anywhere in the dungeon. Ah, but uh, dungeonism is only for wretches like you. As for me, I made my entire my entry to the rear entrance, you little crafty devil. What? But that's cheating! <laughs> that's my kind of guy. I will be... What, <laughs> it will be uh, whatever I choose to sing of. <laughs> Correctly, because the victor always say, uh, tell the tale. And thus I depart henceforthly, leaving you with the memory of my be uh, beautiful wordings. Whatever that is. <laughs> Poe tries to live with the treasure under his arm. Where do you think you're going, you dirty thief? Thorgrim knocks Pod out with a blow from his hammer. See, told them. I told I told him, we, we are two of them. Oh, we, are, <laughs> we are two guys, we have a hammer, and there's nobody around. You don't go steal treasures from people like that. <laughs> Calm down, Thorgrim. We're going to kill him. You're going to kill him, actually. <laughs> he deserves it. Stop, he might be useful. That's a good idea. What for? May I ask? Uh, I got an idea. Pod joins your party, so like it or not, he was recruited. Now, I'm not inclined to go into the treasure, I kinda wanna see more, maybe even explore more. Now what? Ooh, we found something in inspect, and we found loot. A lot of it, actually. Magical bones, water, more magical bones, and raw meat. Oh, don't mind if I do. Kinda neat, too. Now let's see what his power does in dungeons. Restores 20% of the team's maximum ma mana. Not bad. Not bad at all. That that actually really increases the amount of uh, damage we can do. Ooh! And we also have our first uh, skill that can interact with uh, parties of mobs. And apparently, I think it gets them to sleep. 
Let's see, it's a lullaby, that's why I said sleep. 60% chance to inflict sleep, eh, there we go. To enemies before a fight. Well, maybe, but we're gonna go for it. I mean, like, three of us. Let's see what the minister can actually do. Let's see him. So he has, like, three skills. I don't know if all of them are actually <coughs> open. Sorry about that. Uh, Shrilling. Trenody. Trenody? Whatever. Minus one mana. Mana burn. As such, atrocious melody that it harms an enemy. Oh, so it lowers the mana by one point. To oh, and also it gives five damage of uh, magical damage. Not bad. Protecting song. Chris all Allah's armor. 100% uh, chance, 40% uh, resistance for 4 turns, and mutinous him, inflict silence to all enemies and damage them. 2 damage, silence, minus 1 mana, 100% chance, can't use mana spells, ration 2 turns. Oh, I'm gonna go with this on the mage. Like it or not, I'm gonna go with this on the mage. Now, let's see, I could do this on him. Turns out I don't see him because this one's blocking me, but I can go with an arrow to the warlock. He's gonna do some damage to us, like it or not. Unfortunately, there we go. Uh, Torkin's gonna try to stun this guy, like always, and he actually succeeds, which is awesome. I think it's succeed at least. And this guy's gonna do silence on the warlock, so the warlock can bite my ass, and he's not gonna be able to do crap. His turn. There we go. He did. Oh, actually, this would be his turn. I wonder if he's still silenced. I don't think he's silenced anymore. Oh, actually, he was, I think. Because usually he's the first one to cast, if I'm not wrong. Well, it's not gonna matter anyways. We're gonna kick his ass. Are we now? I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to burn one more point of mana, like it or not, apparently. And I'm gonna go with Torgrim and a normal hammer swing. And that's it! So, the pod is already level 2, which is kinda awesome, because otherwise we would have had to level him up. We got another bone. To be honest, that event gave us more loot than uh, we actually get from killing mobs, which is kind of not good at all. Not awesome, not awesome at all, you know. Can we go here? Apparently not through there. Uh, we're gonna have to fight some guys around here. This is a big, big room. But we're getting some awesome, awesome uh, experience as well. When we're just when we're gonna be about to die, well, that would be about the time... Ooh, this one's resistant. Like... A lot of resistance. Let's try the poison. Maybe we're gonna do more damage like that. There we go. He's poisoned. Let's try to stun him. Maybe he's gonna catch. Uh, apparently not. We can't really do anything like that to him. Shredding. Okay. I guess I'm gonna try to destroy, kill him entirely. And it hit. And we got no damage. Just a mana consumption. Broken spear. And a bow, not bad, and two gold, some experience too, which is awesome as well. Wow, this is really big. And we found another event! Curse, weakness, great, something I didn't really want. What does this do? Weakness, minus two strength, that's not good. That, that would pretty much trigger the time, or tell us that it's about time for us to go home. But I kind of want to see what's here as well. I guess it's not that much left from, uh, let's inspect, I inspect everything usually. Uh, we resisted. I guess it was not a curse. Actually, only he resisted. We got armor breaking as well. So we are cursed. We have our armor broke. Uh, we're not doing that awesome. And we just got on a fight, which is not that good. But we're gonna go for it. Let's see. Maybe we won't die. It's probably gonna be like the last battle of the day. There we go. A four there. Uh... Oh, so if there's no nobody on the same row as the guy from the back row, you can actually use some of your skills. Can we use this as... Oh, I can use this as well? Wow. That's kind of awesome. But if they are... Uh, this, this is one of the guys right um, in front of it, you can see him and you can't really attack it. So this one goes first. We kind of need to get rid of this fast. Then again, I could kill him with this. So I guess I'm going to go with a normal swing. That's gonna be about it. I'm gonna try to stun this guy so maybe we don't take any more damage and apparently we succeeded. And we're going to try to kill the archer. Crossbowman, there we go, that's done. Our turn and that should be about it. No damage taken. Oh, actually we did take from the crossbowman his first shot. Only one gold, two gold, no items unfortunately. That's kind of bad. So, yeah. oh, we actually completed everything and that's it. We have done like everything. Let's go for the... We still have... Well, we don't really have any much more time, but uh, we're gonna go for this. So, we got two of the three challenges. We got soft leather, which is for crafting, and some water. 25 gold, and... Uh, well, that is about it. 
nothing more added to, I guess, the um, storyline. We do have some skills, apparently, some talents to set in. I have really no increases of magical power. Not bad, actually. Uh, which increases the stamina and increases damage of uh, mutinous him. Hmm. I guess. Whatever. I guess we're gonna go with more damage to uh, to the uh, to the I guess the magical damage that would seem fair enough for me. That is gonna do way much more damage, and I'm quite uh, pleased with it. And the episode is already too long. So with that being said, if you enjoyed the clip, give the big like. If you wanna see more, subscribe. And I'm gonna see you guys and gals around next time.